Obviously, uh, there's still a lot of work to be done in, in Egypt itself, uh, but what we've seen so far is positive. Uh, the military council that is in charge has reaffirmed its treaties with countries like Israel and international treaties. Uh, it has met with the opposition, and the opposition has felt that it is serious about moving towards fair and free elections. Uh, Egypt's going to require help uh, in building democratic institutions and also in strengthening an economy that's taken a hit as a consequence of what happened. Uh, but so far, at least, uh, we're seeing the right signals uh, coming out of Egypt. There are ramifications, though, throughout the region. Uh, and I think my administration's approach is the approach that jibes with how most Americans uh, think about this region, which is that uh, each country is different. Uh, each country has its own traditions. America can't dictate uh, how they uh, run their societies, but there are certain universal uh, principles that we adhere to. One of them is uh, we don't believe in violence uh, as a way of, and coercion as a way of maintaining control. And so we think it's very important that in all the protests that we're seeing in, uh, throughout the region, that governments respond to peaceful protesters peacefully. The second uh, principle that we believe in strongly is, is in the right to express your opinions, uh, the freedom of speech and freedom of assembly uh, that allows people to share their grievances uh, with the government uh, and to uh, express themselves in ways that uh, hopefully will, uh, over time, meet their uh, meet their needs. Uh, and so, you know, we have sent a strong message to our allies in the region saying, let's look at Egypt's example, as opposed to Iran's example. Uh, you know, I find it ironic that you've got uh, the Iranian regime pretending to celebrate what happened in Egypt, when in fact they have acted in direct contrast to what happened in Egypt by gunning down and beating uh, people who are trying to express themselves peacefully in Iran. Um, and I also think that uh, an important lesson, and, and I mentioned this uh, last week, uh, that we can draw from this is real change in these societies is not going to happen because of terrorism. It's not going to happen because uh, you go around killing innocents. It's going to happen because people come together uh, and uh, apply moral force to a situation. Uh, that's what garners international support. That's what garners in internal support. Uh, that's how you bring about lasting change.